Have you ever wondered why, despite all the medications and treatments, you still feel disconnected from true wellness? Do you find yourself seeking a deeper, more natural way to heal your body and mind? Imagine discovering a path to healing that doesn't just mask symptoms, but truly addresses the root of your discomfort. This journey to natural healing isn't just about finding relief. It's about transforming your entire approach to health. In today's world, we are constantly bombarded with quick fixes and temporary solutions. But what if I told you that true healing comes from within? That by understanding and embracing simple yet profound principles from Buddhism, you can unlock the power to heal yourself naturally? Consider this. A person who consistently practices mindfulness and compassion experiences not only reduce stress, but also a deeper sense of overall well-being. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where we embark on a transformative journey together. If you're curious about how ancient wisdom can bring about modern healing, you're in the right place. Our channel dives into practical and insightful ways to harness the power of Buddhism for natural healing. If you find value in what you're about to discover, please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. There are so many views on this channel, but only 0.2% subscribe. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. In this series, we'll explore how Buddhism offers timeless wisdom for healing and wellness. We'll start by uncovering the foundational concepts of natural healing and how they apply to our daily lives. By learning to connect with our inner selves and embracing mindful practices, we can achieve a state of balance and tranquility that supports genuine health. This isn't just about learning new techniques. It's about adopting a new mindset that promotes healing from the inside out. Our journey will include exploring the mind-body connection, understanding the role of mindfulness, and applying compassionate living to ourselves and others. Each part of this series will provide practical tips and insightful advice to help you integrate these teachings into your everyday life. So stay tuned, engage with the content, and let's begin this path to healing together. Stay engaged and open-minded as we delve into these transformative practices. Prepare to challenge your current views on health and discover how simple, natural methods can lead to profound healing. This is more than just a series. It's an opportunity for you to embark on a journey that could change your life. The mind-body connection. Understanding inner balance. Imagine your body and mind as a single, intricate dance. Just as a ballet dancer must move in harmony with the music, your mind and body must work together in balance to achieve true health. But what happens when this dance is out of sync, when stress, anxiety, and negative thoughts disrupt this harmony? your overall well-being can suffer. The mind-body connection is the understanding that your mental state can significantly impact your physical health. Think about how stress can cause headaches or how worry can affect your stomach. When your mind is troubled, it often reflects in your body. Conversely, physical issues can also influence your mood and mental health. If you have a lingering pain or an illness, it can be hard to stay positive or calm. In Buddhism, this connection is seen as a crucial aspect of achieving inner balance and peace. The teachings suggest that by addressing and calming the mind, we can positively affect our physical health. It's like tending a garden. If you nurture the soil and remove the weeds, the plants will flourish. Similarly, by nurturing a peaceful mind and letting go of negative thoughts, your body can thrive. One way to restore this balance is through mindfulness. Mindfulness is simply paying attention to your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Imagine you're sitting by a river, watching the water flow. You notice the different colors and movements of the water, but you don't try to change it. This is how mindfulness works with your thoughts. Observe them, understand them, but don't let them control you. Practicing mindfulness helps you become more aware of how your thoughts and emotions affect your body. When you're aware, you can notice when stress or negative emotions start to take over. This awareness allows you to take action to bring yourself back to balance, much like adjusting your posture if you're slouching. Another aspect of maintaining this connection is through physical activity. Regular exercise is a powerful way to support your mind-body harmony. When you engage in physical activities, your body releases endorphins, 
chemicals that help improve your mood and reduce stress. It's a natural way to help your mind feel better while also keeping your body strong. Additionally, a balanced diet supports this connection. The food you eat affects how you feel. Eating nourishing, whole foods can give you more energy and help stabilize your mood. Think of your body as a car. The fuel you put in it affects how well it runs. When you choose healthy foods, you're giving your body the best chance to perform at its best. Rest and relaxation are also key to maintaining this balance. Just as a machine needs regular maintenance, your mind and body need time to rest and recover. Sleep is essential for your health. It's during sleep that your body repairs itself and your mind processes the day's events. Ensuring you get enough quality sleep helps you wake up refreshed and ready to face the day with a clear mind and a healthy body. Meditation is another tool that can help you achieve this balance. Through meditation, you focus your mind, which can reduce stress and help you feel more centered. Imagine your mind as a busy street with lots of traffic. Meditation helps to clear the congestion, allowing for a smoother, more peaceful journey. Incorporating simple daily practices like deep breathing can also support this mind-body connection. Deep breathing exercises help calm your nervous system, which can reduce anxiety and promote relaxation. Taking a few moments each day to focus on your breath can make a big difference in how you feel overall. By understanding and nurturing the connection between your mind and body, you create a foundation for lasting health and well-being. It's about creating harmony within yourself so that you can face life's challenges with a balanced perspective. Remember, just as every dance needs practice to perfect, so does the balance between mind and body. Embracing this connection isn't about achieving perfection. It's about making consistent efforts to align your mind and body in a way that supports your overall health. As you continue to explore these concepts, you'll find that natural healing comes not from seeking external solutions, but from fostering an inner balance that allows you to thrive. Embracing mindfulness, the key to inner peace. Imagine your mind as a calm, clear pond. When it's undisturbed, you can see straight to the bottom. But when it's stirred up, the water becomes murky and clarity is lost. In our daily lives, we often find our minds clouded by stress, worries, and distractions. This is where mindfulness steps in, acting as the gentle hand that clears the pond, restoring our inner peace. Mindfulness is about being fully present in each moment, without judgment. It's like tuning into a radio station where the noise fades away, and you only hear the clear, beautiful music of now. When you practice mindfulness, you train yourself to notice the present moment without getting lost in regrets about the past or anxieties about the future. Start by focusing on your breath. Notice how it feels as it flows in and out. This simple practice grounds you in the here and now. You don't need to control your breath or make it deeper. Just observe it. This observation helps quiet the mind and brings you back to a place of calm. Even just a few minutes of this daily practice can make a big difference in how you handle stress and emotional challenges. Mindfulness also involves observing your thoughts and feelings without getting entangled in them. Imagine standing on the shore of a river, watching the water flow by. Your thoughts and feelings are like the river, constantly moving. Instead of jumping into the river, you stay on the shore and watch. This helps you realize that you are not your thoughts or emotions. They're just passing by. Another aspect of mindfulness is being aware of your surroundings. Take a moment to truly see, hear, and feel the world around you. Notice the colors of the leaves, the sound of birds, or the texture of the ground beneath your feet. This awareness helps you connect with the present moment and appreciate the beauty and simplicity of life. Incorporate mindfulness into daily activities. Whether you're eating, walking, or even doing chores, Bring your full attention to the task at hand. For example, when eating, really taste your food. Notice its texture, flavor, and aroma. This simple act of paying attention makes even routine activities more enjoyable and fulfilling. Mindfulness also plays a crucial role in how we respond to difficult situations. When faced with a challenge or conflict, mindfulness helps you pause and choose your response wisely rather than reacting impulsively. This pause allows you to act from a place of clarity and calm, 
Rather than being driven by stress or anger, consider how mindfulness can change your interactions with others. When you are present and attentive, you become a better listener and a more empathetic friend or colleague. This presence strengthens relationships and fosters a deeper sense of connection and understanding. The practice of mindfulness also extends to self-compassion. When you make a mistake or face a setback, instead of being harsh on yourself, approach the situation with kindness and understanding. Treat yourself as you would treat a dear friend who is struggling. This compassionate attitude helps you recover from difficulties more gracefully and maintains your inner peace. Mindfulness isn't about achieving a state of perfect calm all the time. It's about cultivating a consistent practice that helps you return to a state of balance and clarity whenever you need it. The more you practice, the more natural it becomes to find this calm, even amidst chaos. As you integrate mindfulness into your life, you might notice a shift in your overall well-being. You become less reactive and more centered. Your stress levels decrease and your ability to handle challenges improves. The simplicity of being present in each moment becomes a powerful tool for maintaining inner peace and harmony. Embracing mindfulness is like discovering a new way to navigate life, a way that brings more clarity, calm, and joy. By making mindfulness a part of your daily routine, you invite a deeper sense of peace into your life, transforming how you experience each moment. This journey to mindfulness is not about perfection, but about embracing the simplicity and richness of the present moment. So, take a deep breath, and let's continue exploring the profound impact of mindfulness. As you practice and integrate these principles into your life, you'll find that each moment becomes an opportunity for growth, healing, and tranquility. The art of letting go, release to heal. In our lives, we often find ourselves clinging to things, memories, regrets, even people that no longer serve us. These attachments can weigh us down, preventing us from experiencing true peace and healing. But what if letting go could be the key to unlocking a deeper sense of freedom and well-being? Today, we'll explore how releasing these burdens can lead to natural healing, drawing from the wisdom of Buddhism. Imagine carrying a heavy backpack filled with rocks. Each rock represents a past hurt, a disappointment, or a lingering grudge. The more rocks you carry, the heavier your load becomes, making it difficult to move freely and comfortably. This is what life feels like when we hold on to negative emotions and past experiences. By learning the art of letting go, we can lighten our load and move more freely towards healing. Buddhism teaches us that attachment and desire are the root causes of much of our suffering. When we hold on to things, whether it's the desire for material possessions, a relationship, or even an old grievance, we create a constant state of tension and unease within ourselves. The Buddha's teachings offer a way out of this cycle. Through understanding and practice, we can release these attachments and find true peace. Letting go doesn't mean forgetting or pretending that things never happened. Instead, it's about acknowledging these experiences and then choosing to release the emotional grip they have on us. It's like recognizing that the rocks in your backpack have been weighing you down and deciding to put them down. By doing this, you give yourself the space to heal and grow. One practical way to start letting go is through mindfulness meditation. By sitting quietly and focusing on your breath, you create a space to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice helps you become aware of the attachments that are causing you distress. Over time, mindfulness allows you to see these attachments for what they are and gradually let them go. Another powerful practice is forgiveness. Holding on to grudges and resentment can be incredibly draining. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you condone the actions of others or forget what happened. It means freeing yourself from the burden of anger and pain. When you forgive, you release yourself from the grip of negativity and make room for healing and positive change. In addition to mindfulness and forgiveness, engaging in acts of kindness and compassion can also facilitate letting go. When you focus on helping others and acting with compassion, you shift your attention away from your own grievances and towards the well-being of those around you. 
This shift in focus can help ease the hold that negative emotions have on you. It's also helpful to practice self-compassion. Often, we are our harshest critics, holding on to feelings of inadequacy or self-blame. By treating ourselves with kindness and understanding, we can begin to let go of these self-imposed burdens. This self-compassion allows us to heal and move forward with a lighter heart. Embracing the concept of impermanence can also aid in the process of letting go. In Buddhism, impermanence is the understanding that all things are in a constant state of change. Recognizing that nothing is permanent helps us understand that our current attachments and troubles are also temporary. This perspective can make it easier to release them and embrace the flow of life. As we practice letting go, it's important to be patient with ourselves. Change takes time, and the process of releasing attachments is not always easy. However, each small step towards letting go is a step towards greater freedom and peace. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and continue to move forward on your healing journey. Ultimately, the art of letting go is about creating space for new possibilities and experiences. By releasing old attachments and emotional burdens, you open yourself up to a more fulfilling and peaceful life. This practice not only supports your own healing, but also enhances your ability to connect with others in a more meaningful and compassionate way. In summary, letting go is a powerful practice that can lead to profound healing. By using mindfulness, forgiveness, compassion, and an understanding of impermanence, you can begin to release the attachments that weigh you down. As you lighten your load, you create the space needed for true peace and well-being. Embrace this art of letting go and experience the freedom it brings to your life. Embracing mindfulness, the key to inner peace. Imagine walking through a bustling marketplace, every stall bursting with colors and sounds, and yet, you feel a profound sense of calm and clarity. This is the essence of mindfulness, the ability to be fully present and aware, even amidst the chaos of daily life. It's not about escaping the world around you, but learning to engage with it in a more profound and peaceful way. Mindfulness is often described as the practice of being fully present in the moment, without judgment. It means paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings as they are, not as you wish them to be. This simple practice can lead to remarkable changes in how we experience our lives and handle stress. Consider a simple example. Imagine you are eating a meal. If you eat mindfully, you focus entirely on the taste, texture, and aroma of the food. You savor each bite. And in doing so, you find a greater appreciation for the meal itself and a sense of satisfaction that goes beyond just filling your stomach. This approach, applied to all aspects of life, can transform how you experience everything from daily tasks to complex challenges. To embrace mindfulness, start by setting aside a few minutes each day for practice. Find a quiet space, sit comfortably, and bring your attention to your breath. Notice the sensation of the air entering and leaving your body. When your mind starts to wander, gently bring your focus back to your breath. This simple exercise trains your mind to stay present reducing stress, and increasing your sense of well-being. Mindfulness also involves observing your thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. When you notice a negative thought, instead of letting it control you, acknowledge it and let it pass. This practice helps you create distance between yourself and your thoughts, reducing their power over you. Incorporating mindfulness into daily activities can be incredibly effective. Whether you're walking, driving, or even washing dishes, Try to be fully engaged with what you're doing. Notice the sensations, sounds, and sights around you. By focusing on the present moment, you can find peace and clarity, even in the most mundane tasks. The benefits of mindfulness extend to your emotional and mental health. Studies have shown that regular mindfulness practice can reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression, improve concentration, and enhance overall life satisfaction. By staying present, you can break free from the cycle of stress and worry, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Mindfulness also encourages a greater sense of self-awareness. As you become more attuned to your thoughts and feelings, you gain insight into your habits and reactions. 
This awareness allows you to make more intentional choices, fostering personal growth and self-improvement. One of the key aspects of mindfulness is acceptance. It's about accepting things as they are, rather than how you wish them to be. This doesn't mean resigning yourself to a negative situation, but rather acknowledging reality without resistance. Acceptance can lead to greater inner peace and reduce the struggle against things you cannot change. Incorporating mindfulness into your life doesn't require any special skills or equipment. It's a practice that anyone can adopt, regardless of their circumstances. The key is to approach it with an open mind and a willingness to embrace the present moment fully. As you continue to practice mindfulness, you may find that it becomes easier to maintain a sense of calm and balance throughout your day. The more you engage with the present moment, the more natural it becomes to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. Remember, mindfulness is not a destination, but a journey. It's about continually returning to the present moment, no matter how often your mind may wander. Each time you bring your attention back, you strengthen your ability to stay grounded and focused. By embracing mindfulness, you open yourself up to a richer, more fulfilling experience of life. It's a powerful tool for achieving inner peace and enhancing your overall well-being. As you integrate mindfulness into your daily routine, you'll discover new depths of calm and clarity, leading to a more harmonious and satisfying life. So, take a deep breath and begin this journey of mindfulness. Allow yourself to be fully present in each moment and watch as your life transforms in subtle yet profound ways. The role of nature, finding healing in the natural world. Have you ever felt a deep sense of calm just by stepping outside and taking in the fresh air? Or perhaps a walk in the park made you feel more centered and at peace? This is not just a coincidence. Nature has a remarkable way of nurturing our well-being and offering healing in ways that go beyond our understanding. In Buddhism, nature is often seen as a reflection of the harmony and balance we strive for in our own lives. The natural world is a living example of how everything is interconnected and how each element plays a role in a larger whole. When we immerse ourselves in nature, we tap into this inherent wisdom and align ourselves with its soothing rhythms. Consider a simple tree. Its roots are deeply grounded in the earth, its branches reach toward the sky, and its leaves flutter gently in the breeze. This balance of stability and flexibility is something we can learn from. Just as a tree finds strength through its roots and adaptability through its branches, we too can find a sense of grounding and openness by connecting with nature. Nature offers a variety of experiences that can enhance our mental and emotional well-being. Whether it's the calming sound of flowing water, the vibrant colors of a sunset, or the gentle rustling of leaves, these natural elements can provide a profound sense of relaxation and clarity. When we take time to engage with nature, we allow ourselves to be present in the moment and to experience a break from the constant noise and stress of daily life. Imagine the last time you were near a body of water, whether it was a lake, river, or ocean. The rhythmic sound of waves, and the vastness of the water often have a soothing effect on our minds. This is because water symbolizes the flow of life and reminds us of the importance of letting go and allowing things to unfold naturally. Just as water finds its path effortlessly, we too can learn to navigate our lives with greater ease and grace. Incorporating nature into our daily routine doesn't require grand gestures. Simple activities such as taking a walk in a local park gardening, or even sitting quietly in your backyard can make a significant difference. By making time for these moments, we allow ourselves to reconnect with the natural world and to benefit from its calming influence. Buddhist teachings often highlight the importance of mindfulness in nature. When we practice mindfulness while surrounded by natural beauty, we become more attuned to the present moment and more aware of our own inner state. This heightened awareness helps us to appreciate the simple things and to find joy in the everyday wonders of the natural world. The practice of mindfulness in nature can also help us to cultivate a sense of gratitude. When we take the time to observe the intricacies of a flower or the majesty of a mountain, we are reminded of the beauty and complexity of life. 
This sense of wonder and appreciation can shift our perspective and foster a deeper sense of contentment. Nature also offers valuable lessons on resilience and adaptability. Just as the seasons change and the natural world evolves, we too must learn to adapt and grow through life's challenges. By observing how nature responds to change, we can gain insight into how we might approach our own difficulties with greater flexibility and acceptance. Incorporating nature into our healing practices can be as simple as setting aside time each day to connect with the outdoors. Whether it's a brief walk, a moment of quiet reflection, or simply breathing in fresh air, these small acts can have a profound impact on our overall well-being. Additionally, creating a natural environment within our homes can also enhance our sense of tranquility. Incorporating elements such as indoor plants, natural light, and soothing colors can bring the calming qualities of nature into our living spaces. These simple adjustments can create a more peaceful and harmonious environment that supports our healing journey. In summary, nature provides us with an abundant source of healing and inspiration. By embracing the wisdom of the natural world and integrating it into our lives, we can foster a deeper sense of well-being and connection. So take a moment today to step outside Breathe deeply and let nature work its magic on your mind and body. Remember, the natural world is always there, offering its gifts of peace and balance, ready to support you on your path to healing. The art of letting go, release to heal. Let's talk about something that might sound simple but is incredibly powerful. Letting go. Imagine you're holding a heavy stone in your hand. The longer you hold it, the more it weighs you down. But what if you could simply put it down? That's what letting go is all about, releasing what's holding you back so you can feel lighter and more at ease. In our busy lives, we often hold on to negative thoughts, old grudges, and unresolved issues. These are like the heavy stones we carry around, making our journey through life more difficult. But according to Buddhist teachings, letting go is not just about forgetting. It's about understanding and releasing the hold these things have on us. It's about finding peace in the present moment rather than being stuck in the past. First, let's understand why letting go is so important. When we hold on to anger, resentment, or regret, we're carrying emotional baggage that affects our well-being. This baggage can lead to stress, anxiety, and even physical health problems. By learning to let go, we free ourselves from this burden and create space for positive feelings and experiences. One of the key practices in Buddhism that helps with letting go is mindfulness. Mindfulness teaches us to observe our thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. For example, if you find yourself dwelling on a past mistake, mindfulness helps you recognize that this is just a thought passing through your mind. You don't have to hold on to it. You can let it come and go, just like clouds passing across the sky. Another helpful practice is forgiveness. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting or excusing what happened. It means choosing to release the hold that anger or hurt has over you. When you forgive someone, you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for yourself. You're letting go of the emotional weight that's been dragging you down. Letting go also involves accepting impermanence. Everything in life is constantly changing and nothing lasts forever. By accepting this, we can learn to let go of our attachment to things, whether they are material possessions, specific outcomes, or even our own expectations. This doesn't mean we stop caring. It means we become more adaptable and open to whatever comes our way. Sometimes letting go can be challenging because we fear losing control. But in reality, letting go is about gaining control over our own happiness. It's about choosing to focus on what we can control our responses and our attitudes, rather than on things that are beyond our control. Practical steps for letting go include practices like journaling. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can help you process and release them. Meditation is another powerful tool. During meditation, you can visualize letting go of your burdens, imagining them drifting away like leaves on a river. It's also helpful to surround yourself with supportive people who encourage you to move forward. Having a strong support system can make the process of letting go easier and more manageable. Share your feelings with trusted friends or family members and let their support help you in your journey. 
Lastly, be patient with yourself. Letting go is not a one-time event. It's a continuous process. There will be times when old feelings resurface, and that's okay. Each time this happens, you have an opportunity to practice letting go again. With time and patience, you'll find that it becomes easier to release what no longer serves you. In summary, letting go is a powerful practice that can significantly enhance your well-being. By learning to release negative emotions, attachments, and past grievances, you create space for peace, happiness, and personal growth. Embrace the art of letting go and watch as your life transforms in beautiful and unexpected ways. Transforming pain into wisdom. Lessons from suffering. Life is filled with challenges and hardships. But have you ever thought about how these difficulties can actually help you grow? In Buddhism, suffering isn't seen as something to be avoided, but as an opportunity to learn and transform. Imagine for a moment that your pain could be a teacher, guiding you toward deeper understanding and personal growth. It may sound unusual, but by embracing this perspective, we can turn our struggles into valuable lessons. Consider the story of a Zen student who, after facing a great personal loss, felt overwhelmed with sorrow. Instead of trying to push the pain away or pretend it wasn't there, the student decided to sit quietly with their feelings, observing them without judgment. Over time, this practice revealed a deeper truth. Their pain was a gateway to greater self-awareness and compassion. Through this experience, the student learned that pain, while difficult, can offer profound insights into the nature of existence and our place within it. In Buddhism, suffering is considered an integral part of life, and understanding its role can lead to profound wisdom. The Buddha taught that suffering arises from our attachments and desires. When we cling to things, people, or outcomes, we set ourselves up for disappointment and distress. By examining our suffering and its causes, we can begin to unravel these attachments and find a deeper sense of peace. To transform pain into wisdom, start by acknowledging and accepting your suffering. This might sound simple, but it's a powerful first step. Instead of ignoring or denying your pain, allow yourself to fully experience it. Notice how it feels in your body and mind. Are there patterns or triggers that exacerbate your discomfort? By observing these aspects without judgment, you create space for understanding and healing. Next, reflect on the lessons your pain might be teaching you. Sometimes, the most challenging experiences reveal our deepest fears and desires. By examining these revelations, you can gain insights into your own behavior and mindset. For example, if you find yourself feeling envious of others, your suffering might be highlighting a need for self-compassion and acceptance. Use these insights to guide your actions and decisions, aiming for growth rather than merely seeking relief. It's also helpful to share your experiences with others. Talking about your pain and the lessons you've learned can create connections and foster mutual support. Buddhism emphasizes the importance of community and shared wisdom. By opening up to others, you not only lighten your own burden, but also offer support and understanding to those who might be facing similar struggles. Another essential practice is to cultivate a mindset of gratitude, even in the face of adversity. This might seem counterintuitive, but finding something to be thankful for, despite your pain, can shift your perspective and enhance your resilience. Gratitude helps to reframe your experience allowing you to see your struggles as part of a larger, meaningful journey. As you continue to navigate your challenges, remember that transforming pain into wisdom is a gradual process. Be patient with yourself and trust that each step forward, no matter how small, contributes to your overall growth. Embrace the lessons that come from your suffering and let them guide you toward a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Incorporating these practices into your daily life can help you approach suffering with a new mindset. Rather than viewing pain as a purely negative experience, see it as an opportunity for growth and transformation. By doing so, you not only heal from your struggles, but also develop a greater sense of inner strength and wisdom. As you move forward, remember that you have the power to shape your response to suffering. 
Each challenge you face offers a chance to learn, grow, and become more resilient. By embracing the lessons from your pain, you can transform your experiences into sources of insight and strength, leading you toward a more fulfilling and balanced life. Nourishing the soul. The importance of spiritual practice. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to overlook the importance of nurturing our inner selves. Yet, deep down, we all crave a sense of purpose and connection that goes beyond the surface. Spiritual practice isn't about following rigid rules or adhering to elaborate rituals. It's about finding a path that resonates with your inner self and brings a sense of peace and fulfillment. Imagine your soul as a garden. Just as a garden needs water, sunlight, and care to flourish, so does your inner self require nourishment to thrive. Spiritual practice is like tending to this garden, ensuring it has what it needs to grow and flourish. It's about creating space for inner reflection and connection, allowing your true self to emerge and guide you. In Buddhism, spiritual practice is essential for cultivating a balanced and harmonious life. It's not just about sitting in meditation or chanting mantras. It's about integrating mindfulness and compassion into every aspect of your life. This integration helps to align your actions with your values, leading to a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. One of the most profound aspects of spiritual practice is the ability to find stillness amidst the chaos of daily life. In moments of stillness, you can connect with your deeper self and gain clarity on what truly matters to you. This inner clarity provides a sense of direction and purpose, guiding you through life's challenges with grace and resilience. Consider the practice of mindfulness, a key component of Buddhist spiritual practice. Mindfulness teaches you to be fully present in each moment, observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. By doing so, you become more aware of your inner landscape and can address any negative patterns or distractions that may arise. This awareness is crucial for personal growth and healing, as it allows you to make conscious choices that support your well-being. Another important aspect of spiritual practice is the cultivation of compassion. Compassionate living involves treating yourself and others with kindness and understanding. It's about recognizing our shared humanity and extending empathy to those around us. By practicing compassion, you not only enhance your relationships but also foster a sense of inner peace and fulfillment. Spiritual practice also involves creating rituals that resonate with your personal beliefs and values. These rituals serve as reminders of your commitment to your inner growth and well-being. Whether it's lighting a candle, journaling your thoughts, or taking a walk in nature, these practices help to anchor you in your spiritual journey and provide moments of reflection and connection. Additionally, engaging in acts of service and kindness can be a powerful way to nourish your soul. By helping others and contributing to the well-being of your community, you create a sense of purpose and fulfillment that enriches your own life. This selfless approach to living fosters a deep sense of satisfaction and strengthens your connection to the greater whole. As you continue on your journey of spiritual practice, remember that it's a personal and evolving process. There is no one-size-fits-all approach. What matters is finding practices that resonate with you and support your growth. Be patient and gentle with yourself as you explore different practices and discover what works best for you. In essence, nourishing your soul through spiritual practice is about finding harmony and balance in your life. It's about creating a space for inner reflection and connection, allowing you to live more fully and authentically. By integrating mindfulness, compassion, and personal rituals into your daily life, you can cultivate a deeper sense of well-being and fulfillment. So, take a moment to reflect on your own spiritual journey. What practices resonate with you? How can you create space for inner growth and connection in your life? By making a commitment to nourish your soul, you embark on a path of self-discovery and transformation that enriches every aspect of your existence. Living in the present, freedom from regrets and worries. Imagine this. You are sitting on a peaceful hill, looking at the sunset. The sky is filled with colors, and there is a gentle breeze. You are completely in the moment, feeling calm and at peace. But then, thoughts start to creep in, 
thoughts about things you did in the past, or worries about what might happen tomorrow. Before you know it, the beautiful moment is gone, replaced by regret and anxiety. This happens to all of us. We often find ourselves lost in thoughts of the past or future, missing out on the present moment. But the present is all we really have. Living in the present means focusing on what is happening right now, not what happened yesterday or what might happen tomorrow. It means appreciating each moment for what it is, without letting our minds wander into regret or worry. This simple practice is the key to finding peace and happiness. When we focus on the present, we free ourselves from the burden of the past and the fear of the future. We become more connected to our surroundings, more aware of our actions, and more in tune with our true selves. Let's start with regret. Regret is like a heavy stone we carry with us. It weighs us down, makes us feel sad or guilty, and keeps us from moving forward. But here's the truth. The past is gone. No matter how much we think about it or wish it were different, we cannot change it. What we can change is our attitude toward it. We can learn from our past experiences, forgive ourselves, and let go of the regret. This doesn't mean we ignore our mistakes. It means we accept them as part of our growth and move on. By living in the present, we acknowledge our past, but do not let it define us. Now let's talk about worry. Worry is like a shadow that follows us everywhere. It makes us anxious about things that haven't even happened yet. It fills our minds with what-if questions, creating fear and uncertainty. But here's another truth. The future is not here yet. Worrying about it doesn't change it. In fact, it only robs us of our peace right now. By focusing on the present, we can deal with challenges as they come, instead of wasting our energy on what might never happen. A simple way to practice living in the present is through mindfulness. Mindfulness is being fully aware of what you are doing, feeling, and thinking at this very moment. It's paying attention to the taste of your food when you eat, the sound of the birds when you walk, and the feeling of your breath as it flows in and out. When you practice mindfulness, you notice things you might otherwise miss, and you start to appreciate the small joys in life. You become more present and alive, rather than being lost in your thoughts. Another way to stay in the present is by focusing on your breath. Your breath is always with you, no matter where you are or what you are doing. When you find your mind wandering to the past or future, take a few deep breaths. Feel the air entering and leaving your body. This simple act brings your attention back to the present moment, calming your mind and body. Breathing is a natural tool for grounding ourselves in the here and now. Living in the present also means being kind to yourself. It's about accepting who you are at this moment, with all your strengths and flaws. It's understanding that you are doing your best, and that it's okay to make mistakes. Self-compassion helps you let go of harsh self-judgments and negative thoughts about yourself. By being kind to yourself, you create a sense of inner peace and contentment that is not dependent on external circumstances. It's important to remember that living in the present is a practice, not a one-time decision. It's something you do every day, every moment. There will be times when your mind slips back into regret or worry, and that's okay. The goal is not to eliminate these thoughts, but to notice them when they come and gently bring your attention back to the present. Over time, this becomes easier, and you'll find yourself feeling more peaceful and less stressed. Engaging in activities that you enjoy can also help you stay in the present. Whether it's painting, gardening, reading, or playing a musical instrument, doing something you love keeps your mind focused and relaxed. It brings you joy and satisfaction making you more present and connected to the moment. Hobbies are not just a way to pass the time. They're a way to cultivate mindfulness and presence. Spending time in nature is another powerful way to reconnect with the present moment. Nature is always in the now. The trees, the flowers, the rivers, they all exist in the present. When you spend time in nature, you become more aware of the beauty around you. You start to notice the small details like the way the leaves rustle in the wind or the sound of a stream flowing over rocks. These moments of connection with nature remind us to slow down and appreciate the simple joys of life. Living in the present also means being fully engaged with the people around you. When you are with your family, friends, or colleagues, 
give them your full attention. Listen to what they're saying without thinking about what you're going to say next or what you have to do later. This not only improves your relationships, but also makes you more mindful and aware. Being present with others strengthens your connections and brings more joy and fulfillment into your life. In Buddhism, living in the present is often compared to a lotus flower. The lotus grows in muddy water, yet it blooms with pure, beautiful petals. It rises above the murkiness of the water, unaffected by it. Similarly, by living in the present, we rise above the muddy waters of regret and worry. We find peace and clarity, untouched by the distractions of the past and future. The Lotus teaches us that true beauty and strength come from within and that we can bloom even in difficult circumstances. Finally, remember that the present moment is where life happens. The past is gone, and the future is not here yet. What we have is now. By choosing to live in the present, we make the most of our lives. We experience more joy, peace, and fulfillment. We become more resilient, more compassionate, and more alive. The present moment is a gift. Embrace it, live in it, and let it guide you to a happier, healthier life. In conclusion, living in the present is about being aware, being kind, and being true to yourself. It's about letting go of regrets and worries and embracing each moment as it comes. It's a practice that takes time, but the rewards are worth it. By living in the present, you free yourself from the chains of the past and the fears of the future. You find peace in the here and now, and you live your life to the fullest. Cultivating positive relationships, healing with love and connection. Imagine a life where your relationships nourish your spirit, uplift your mood, and provide a sense of deep, meaningful connection. How would it feel if the people around you not only supported your healing journey, but actively contributed to your well-being? The truth is, the quality of our relationships plays a crucial role in our overall health and happiness. In this part, we explore how fostering positive relationships can be a powerful tool for natural healing. Let's start by reflecting on the nature of our interactions. Often, we may find ourselves surrounded by negativity or conflict, which can drain our energy and hinder our healing process. On the other hand, positive and supportive relationships can act as a source of strength and encouragement. When we engage with others who uplift us, listen with empathy, and share in our joys and challenges, we create a nurturing environment that fosters healing. In Buddhism, the concept of right relationships emphasizes the importance of engaging with others in a manner that is kind, respectful, and harmonious. This principle suggests that our interactions should be based on mutual respect and genuine care. When we practice kindness and compassion in our relationships, we not only enhance our own well-being, but also contribute to the well-being of those around us. Think about the people in your life. Are there individuals who consistently bring positivity and joy into your world? These relationships are invaluable. They are like a warm light that brightens your path, offering comfort and encouragement when needed. Conversely, relationships marked by negativity or conflict can be challenging. While it's important to address and resolve conflicts, it's equally important to seek out and nurture connections that support and inspire you. One practical way to cultivate positive relationships is by practicing active listening. When we truly listen to others without judgment or interruption, we show them that we value their thoughts and feelings. This simple act can strengthen our bonds and foster a deeper sense of connection. Additionally, expressing gratitude and appreciation can go a long way in nurturing our relationships. By acknowledging and valuing the contributions of others, we create a positive and supportive atmosphere. Another key aspect of building positive relationships is setting healthy boundaries. It's essential to recognize and communicate your own needs and limits. Healthy boundaries help maintain respect and balance in relationships, preventing burnout and ensuring that your interactions remain supportive and fulfilling. Furthermore, Buddhism teaches us the importance of equanimity, maintaining a balanced and calm demeanor regardless of external circumstances. By practicing equanimity in our relationships, we can navigate conflicts with grace and maintain our inner peace. 
This doesn't mean avoiding conflict, but rather approaching it with a mindset of understanding and compassion. In your daily interactions, strive to be present and engaged. Avoid distractions and give your full attention to the people you're with. This presence fosters deeper connections and shows that you genuinely care about their well-being. When we are fully present, we not only enhance our relationships, but also contribute to our own sense of fulfillment and joy. Consider engaging in activities that promote bonding and mutual support. Shared experiences, whether they are as simple as a walk in the park or as involved as a group project, can strengthen relationships and create lasting memories. These activities provide opportunities for meaningful connection and reinforce the positive aspects of your interactions. Additionally, it's beneficial to surround yourself with people who share similar values and goals. When we are aligned with others who support our vision of a fulfilling and balanced life, our journey becomes more enriching and less challenging. These shared values create a foundation of understanding and mutual respect, making it easier to navigate life's ups and downs together. In summary, cultivating positive relationships is a vital aspect of natural healing. By focusing on kindness, respect, and empathy, we create an environment that supports our well-being and enhances our journey to health. Nurture the relationships that uplift you. Practice active listening, set healthy boundaries, and engage in shared experiences. These practices will not only enrich your life, but also contribute to your overall sense of healing and happiness. Sustaining your healing journey, daily practices, and final thoughts. As we reach the final part of our journey together, let's take a moment to reflect on the path we've traveled. Healing naturally isn't a destination. It's a continuous journey, a daily practice of embracing mindfulness, compassion, and balance. Now, as we conclude, I want to share with you some key practices to sustain the healing you've begun and to keep nurturing your well-being. First, let's talk about the importance of consistency in your daily practices. Just like tending to a garden, healing requires regular care. Start each day with a few moments of mindfulness. This could be as simple as a few deep breaths or a brief meditation. These small acts of awareness set a positive tone for the day and help maintain the inner calm you've been cultivating. Incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine, whether you're eating, walking, or working. Try to be fully present in each moment. Mindfulness is not just about meditation. It's about living with intention and awareness. By being present, you reduce stress and enhance your overall well-being. When you find yourself overwhelmed or distracted, take a moment to pause and reconnect with your breath. This practice helps anchor you in the present and keeps you grounded. Another vital aspect of sustaining your healing journey is to nurture positive relationships. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you. Compassionate interactions with others foster a sense of connection and reinforce the healing you're experiencing. Share your journey with those around you and let their support be a source of strength. Regular self-reflection is also key. Set aside time each week to reflect on your progress, challenges, and the growth you've experienced. This could be through journaling or simply taking a quiet moment to assess your journey. Self-reflection helps you stay aware of your goals and recognize the positive changes you're making. It also allows you to adjust your practices as needed and stay aligned with your healing intentions. Incorporate practices that bring joy and relaxation into your life. Engage in activities that nourish your soul, whether it's spending time in nature, pursuing a hobby, or simply enjoying a peaceful moment. These practices contribute to a balanced life and help sustain the healing you've cultivated. Remember, healing is not just about overcoming challenges, but also about finding joy and fulfillment. Lastly, keep learning and growing. The principles of Buddhism offer endless wisdom for personal growth and healing. Continue exploring these teachings and integrating new insights into your life. Stay curious and open to new practices and ideas that can support your journey. Healing is a lifelong process, and there's always more to discover and understand. As we wrap up this series, remember that the path to natural healing is ongoing. The practices you've learned are tools to help you navigate life with greater ease and balance. By making these practices a part of your daily routine, 
you'll continue to experience the benefits of natural healing and personal growth. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found these insights valuable, I encourage you to stay connected. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel, Wisdom Woven. Your support helps us continue to bring valuable content to you and others seeking to enhance their well-being. May your journey of healing be fulfilling and transformative. Until next time, take care and continue embracing the wisdom within.